Greetings, it is I, X Dark Mario X, and welcome back to Let's Play Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland. Today, we are Swift Hunter, and we will start the game, one player as always, Grape Garden, as always, and we will go to level one of Grape Garden. And we will suck up one of these fire guys, but not because they're completely useless. Green Wallabies! What is this green madness? This is Wallabies' evil brother, Waddle Dooigi? No, but that was me dying because I'm a friggin' moron. Da, 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 da. You know, this, this melody is so. Die, Waddle Dooigi! It's the unholy abomination of Ouija and Waddle Dee, the two most scariest creatures on Earth. If they combined with the Tails, though, they'd even be more scarier, because those three are the most scariest things on Earth. And there's a blue Waddle Dee, how strange, and... Ooh, sword. Hey, Blade Knight. Bye, Blade Knight. Hey, Waddle Dee. Bye, Waddle Dee. And now we're in space! And... Yay, we get the UFO! It will be glorious so much. We will kill everything in our way. And then those little bastards will pay. Because they think they can kill me. Because I am Kirby. We'll die and I'll laugh and they'll die and I'll laugh. Okay, now see up here. There's a weird little orb thing up here. You can actually go in it and that's where our secret will be right there and let's press the button yay and that activates the bomb mini game but I won't use it because this is only 100% run I'm not really and since I don't need that anymore tornado away you fail only I have the tornadoes to rule the Lila. No, wait, wrong game. And that was the first level. I was just rambling on about nothing there. Hope you don't mind. But seriously, can you imagine if t if Kirby can suck up a tornado? Do you know how awesome that would be if Kirby actually existed in real life? It'd be like Kirby. There's a tornado. There's a there's a tornado attacking some random place. Nobody gives a crap about. And then Kirby would just suck up the tornado, and then turn into a tornado himself, and kill us all. Okay, so it wouldn't be at a, that awesome. Because then Kirby would kill us all, like in that one Brennelfoss song. You know what? I love- you know what? I forgot how good this music was, like... I, I usually don't notice music in video games, too, but these melodies, they just spring back so much mel memories about me doing useless stuff in this game and just replaying the stages to death, trying to find all the secrets so I can get 100%, and trust me, getting 100% in this game is well worth it. At least to me, anyway. Because in this game, you don't just get one, one measly bonus stage, or just a measly bonus reskin. You, you, you get a whole new other character to play as, and it's gonna be glorious. It's gonna be glorious! Or whatever that one guy says in that one movie, I don't remember the name of because I never watched it, and I just know the Nostalgia Critic reviewed it. Jeez, that was a long sentence. I think it had to do with Mortal Kombat or something, I don't remember. Yeah. And, uh, you know what, I don't think the bomb ability is even in this game, actually. So let us just kill him, suck his, suck his power up, and then brutally murder his best friend. Because that's how Cor- because that's how Kirby rolls. And since the crash ability will be useless to us in the near future, let's not get it. Whoa, we're- Woo! We're just going through these stages, knocking them out left and right, eh? You know what, I think I need to redeem myself from the quick draw. Be very quiet to defeat the words will do. No, it's not come! The wheel is fast, but we are faster. 
Chef Kawasaki may attack you with his terrible foods, but don't eat them. King DDD is a king, but he is very slow. But tonight, you're fucking screwed. <coughs> Holy crap, we beat him! I don't know, maybe... I remember him being faster. Maybe he was only... Maybe he only went to 17, but... I think he's faster in Kirby Superstar, though. I don't know. But we got three one-ups, which is all good. And... Oh! You see these ropes here? Well, see, there's a fuse right here. You set him on fire, it sets off the rope, and you have to go inside the cannons to... Uh, to actually go to places. That one only gets a one-up. But trust me. Fire! Hot, hot, so hot! Too hot to touch! But trust me, they'll bit get more jerkus much later, and I think there's actually a bonus place here, but I can't remember. I think a Sir Kibble was next to it, though. I think it might be over here. I think this is a bonus area? No, that wasn't a bonus area. Well, we'll just have to come back to it. I guess. Now, for the longest time, I thought these fans would kill you, but they actually don't. These fans are just here for decoration, but the Sword Knights will kill you. The Sword Knights will definitely kill you. I thought the Sword Knights were blue. I guess I was wrong. Okay. And we get our Link hat again, because Kirby looks like Link. Ah! Fudge cakes. And there's green bo 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 Maybe they're called bo 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 Wait, wrong show, never mind. Ah, screw it. I hate how in this game, you only take one hit and then you lose your power up. In other games, I think that you could, they'd allow like two or three hits, but in this game, only one, and you're screwed. Yeah, we definitely missed something. See, the door, if there's something you missed in the door, like a secret or something, then the door won't turn yellow like all the other doors. It'll just stay florange. So, let's let's continue and see where we went wrong. Well, I know where we went wrong. I started playing this game. Nah, just kidding. I guess this door was the door. Yep, there's a Sir Kibble I was talking about. Or not. Well, I know it's in this room somewhere. I think it might be somewhere up. Yeah, I'm just gonna be searching. Searching in the wind. We were running against the wind. Wait, maybe this is the one. Because I don't think we went for this one. Yep, this is the one. And we press the button, and that activates the museum! And since I don't know if we have to beat the level or not to... Maybe I should, like, check, but now nah, I'm not gonna... Use that, use that. Give me my sword. And let's continue this level of madness. Madness. And uh, something, something, something. What creates my own madness? Blah blah blah. Because I'm getting away from it. Blah da 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 da. I don't know what I'm saying now. Oh my God! We actually reached number one. And number one, a Kirby saucer gives you a one up. That's your award. And since some of these mini games are mostly easy. Not big reward. Besides, this game is kind of easy in the first place. Oh, there's a ball ability? What's that? Uh, it's kind of like the bounce bracelet in Sonic Adventure. Completely useless. <laughs> At least to me. I didn't know those guys gave us power-ups. I kind of think I remember this level, and I think I remember hating it. This could be bad. Especially when we're on a 10 minute mark right here. 
And here's the birds. I remember there's these three patterns of birds. But on that pattern, there's a shell there. And in that pattern, there's just two homing birds and a bird that all just do nothing. All right, now this part, we want to be, we, yeah, we can't be doing that much. And this part, we need to be fast because we need to outrun that. It's kind of difficult, as you can see. And with that, you actually get a one-up there. I thought I was going to get a secret, but I guess not. And this is Fanfi. I think his name is Fanfi, at least. Kind of like the Pokemon. And whenever he hits you, he grabs you by the balls. And then throws you across the steep. Across the stage, because Fanfi's a butthole. And when you beat him, you get the throw ability. What is a throw ability? Try throwing enemies straight. Press up and down to change your direction. Well, this is a throw ability. It's pretty powerful looking. And it kind of is. And you can even aim it up and down. It's not too useful, though, so I don't use it. Personally, I prefer swords, cutters, and all the stuff that make that makes things easy to kill. Huh. What was in here? Bugsy! How's it going? Alright, now this is Arena, where you can get Max Tomatoes! So, let's not do that and get killed by Bugsy. Whatever, that works too. We still start out with full health. Ah, bugger! We start this place with candy power! Wait, what's that? Is that a secret? That I never knew about? I guess we can go through here. Go through there. And go into this weird secret room. I wonder what's in here. It, it looks like there's nothing, nothing here. Huh. And there's one up in here. And that's all? Huh. Weird, a secret I never knew about before. The more you know. Da, 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 da. Oh, and when you see that red knight up there and this big door that looks important, that means that you're about to fight a mini-boss with Meta Knight. The Meta Knights. Jeez, Meta Knight, fight me, you coward! Why do you send me your minions all day? When are you gonna fight me like a real warrior would? And hello, guy that I couldn't see because it's off the side of my TV. Yeah, my TV kind of sucks. Like, if you notice the ends... Sometimes you may not be able to see stuff clearly. That's because my TV is weird. It's kind of weird, like, it won't show the complete ends of the, of the TV screen. It'll just show, like, s most, some of it. I don't think there's a secret here, just uh, extra life, so I don't care. Yep, just an extra life. Yeah. Whenever there isn't a switch, there, it's usually just an extra life. And oh, and spikes, they kill your power-ups in this game. Unfortunately. Jeez, I... I should... Right. Bleh. And... Uh, well, I, well, since I'm doing one world per episode, I may as well not start here. I still haven't showed off when you... When you try and suck up the Scarfies, haven't I? And now these fish are green for some reason. It's not easy being green. But it is good to be the king. So what happens when you're the king of green? Yeah, what happens when you're king of green? Who knows? And hey, dude. How you doing? See how easy this guy was with power-ups? Like, usually, if you don't have power-up, he's pretty hard to defeat, and oh no. Uh, we're gonna need light anyway. And then, God said, let's let there be light. Oh, I forgot the sword guys could do that! That's awesome! 
Yes, the sword guys, sometimes if you try and throw stuff at them, like, like I did there, they would just slash the power up you were throwing at them away. It's pretty awesome. And I remember this puzzle. What you want to do is hit that first, then hit that to make that go up, and then hit that. You see, if you hit that first, then the power up wouldn't be able to go all the way up. It's kind of weird that way. Ouija powers! Yay! And for the next boss, we're actually going to want a high jump. You know why? Well, wait, I didn't get, there was a secret here? I don't remember there being a secret here. Or do I? Oh yeah, that's right, it's in the dark room, isn't it? Ah. That's weird. Insert airborne joke here. And, uh, the thing of a jigger didn't respawn, that's not good. You know, I always found that Blade Knight's sword looked so so cool. It's weird. Eh, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't- You killed me! You bastard! How dare you kill the great and mighty Kirby! Take- Take that! And that- That hurt. Yeah, it's best if you get two on one go. So you wouldn't have to- That hurts me? So you won't have to do four goes, because normally you'd have to do four goes at this guy. But if you, if you only, if you catch two in one go, then you won't have to. All right, let's go back a little and look. Yep, there's sure enough. There's a door right here, and that leads to a switch. Ah, oh, it act automatically activates after you leave the level. Well, anyway, let's go back to the Butter Building because... Because the Butter Building has a power-up I want to use to fight the boss. Wrong place! Oh, well. Ah, mm. uh, bugger. Jeez, I'm just not good at this anymore. Yeah, see, if you, if you do it perfectly, then you get a big speed boost. And we beat them all! Got a rocky start, but we still beat them all. I redeemed myself in the races. And that's an easy three one-ups that I'll never be using. Jeez. And let's get the high jump because we're gonna want for the next boss. And the next boss, well, if you played a Kirby game, you might recognize him. He's one of the regulars. You know why? Because now we're gonna fight the boss. The one and only Cracko! Yes, Cracko. He appeared in like every Kirby game he's appeared in. Well, he hasn't appeared in Kirby 64, Kirby. Three. Kirby Dreamland 3, I know, but he's appeared in basically everyone, even in the yarn game. And, oh, you ass! And, oh, Jesus Christ, no! And this form he's in now is actually called Cracko Jr. Now, we're gonna go, and go up really fast, because Cracko will actually follow us. Let's see? until we get up here, and he'll turn into Krakow. Krakow also appeared in the anime in episode 4, where he was much more menacing than he is now, trust me. Like, he could, like, like, na like in these games, he's kind of pathetic, but in the friggin' anime, he's not a force to be reckoned with. He's kind of powerful. I think that's also the episode that Warp Star made its debut in, but... I don't know. And he'll even give us high jump. So we can use it against him. As you can see, he's being a complete and old dutz. Dits. Twat. Whatever. And 
Bam! Oh, screw you. And there we go. We beat Cracko. Cracko like a no, never. And uh, we're actually nearing the end of the game. I think. I don't remember this world that much. I. I don't know who the boss of this world is, but if it is, it's gonna be awesome. So anyway, next time, let's play Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland! <laughs> no. We're gonna be doing the Yogurt Yard! See you next time!